All right, what is up, everyone? Uh, today we're playing some U White Meld, and uh, this is a deck with the card Urza Lord Protector. So Urza is a uh, well. It starts off as a creature. It's a uh, if you're not familiar, he's a very famous person from Magic: The Gathering lore and history in some of the earliest sets in the game. Uh, he's kind of a I uh, do whatever it takes to get his goals done kind of person. So uh, sometimes he does so not so nice things to get what he wants done. But uh, he's also fighting his brother, Mishra, who is uh, also kind of uh, a dark character. So anyway, uh, that's a Urza. But in this deck, the point is it's a nice card that's a 2-4 that reduces the cost of your artifacts and instants and sorceries. And if you can get another card down, the Might Stone and the Weak Stone, and pace a little bit of mana, then you turn into this Urza Planeswalker. And Urza Planeswalker is a super powerful Planeswalker that will run away with the game. And so many, it has five different abilities. You get to activate two a turn. So you can um, draw cards, you can make tokens, you can destroy something. Um, yeah. It's just really, really good. So if you can get this Earth's Planeswalker, you pretty much should always win the game after that. All right, and uh, what's the point of the deck? Well, we're trying to ramp up to our big artifact spells like Portal to Phyrexia, Cityscape Leveler, um, even using some of the ramp to get our Might Stone out. And um, the ramp that we get in this format is lets you cast abilities. So the seven mana ability here is going to be pretty easy to cast once we have all our ramp out on the field. So that's another benefit of the ramp. And we have a few planeswalkers to help us kind of draw and get some value. Teferi, who slows the sunset, also untaps artifacts. So we can play something like the Timeless Lotus, untap it with Teferi, and get immediately some mana back. Same for Mightstone, Weakstone. Um, you could use that to get double the, the, the mana from that. So pretty pretty good there. And of course, you can't have a U White deck without some removal. So we have Fateful Absence, Lay Down Arms, and Soul Partition as our removal. And two depopulates in here just to stabilize it against an aggro opponent. Um, I felt it was okay to play a Sweeper, even though we have our own creatures, because... Most of our creatures have some value when they die or enter the battlefield. So Power Stone Engineer, if it gets killed by a Sweeper, we don't really care because we get the ramp. And the Ramp Spider gave us the token already when it came in. So if it dies, we also don't care that much. And Sten, you can actually exile it and sweep after you exile it if you have enough mana. So uh, that also is not a big deal. So I think it's fine. The rest is not creatures, so we don't we don't really care. All right, um, so yeah, let's get into some games, check it out, and uh, feel free, if you like the games and the content, give it uh, a like, a subscribe to the channel, and it uh, really means a lot, and I'm trying to push uh, my subscribers up a little bit so I can uh, kind of move to the next tier of YouTube, so if you haven't already, please give a subscribe. All right, anyway, without further ado, let's get into those games. See you in a bit. Okay, uh, I think we can keep this. I mean, we can play at least this half of our hand and we go second, so we have a chance to go to third lane. Pretty, pretty good chance to go with the Thran Spider and stuff. Another Soldier's deck. It makes sense. Soldiers is like everywhere. Recruitment Officer. All right, well, we can play this stem. This will name artifacts. And we have to decide if we're going to trade this. Oh, or we're getting Rudal Cathard. Um, let's Thran Spider. Thank you. 
All right, Thorn Spider is nice, confirmed. Um, so we can start killing some of their stuff. We have two planes. We can kill oh, only the uh, recruitment officer. I guess this will. Oh, we can't cast it for with our uh, our son, unfortunately. I guess we should kill the sky strike officer. I'm not sure if I want to play the late on arms now. I could save it potentially. Right now, I can only kill the recruitment officer, which doesn't seem very good. But I guess we'll wait. planes also very good so I can either might stone weak stone to kill something or I can Urza plus lay down I think we do Urza plus lay down right so let's start with the lay down on the sky strike we're gonna draw again Play Urza. And then we can might some weak stone next turn. Oh, it's actually untapped, so we could fix that and do that into Lotus, I think. I'm sure they're gonna start drawing now. Alright, so we play this, we kill the brutal Pithor. Get our stun back with artifacts. Um, Timeless Lotus, I guess. And then we can start cityscape leveling next turn. I guess we can swing in with the Thran Spider if we want to. No, we can wait one more turn. Next turn we're gonna have like eight of this mana here, plus four, so we're at twelve mana, that's pretty good. Plus two discounts. Alright, they have this flyer guy. When you have five or more, they get plus one plus one flying. Alright, so we definitely have to kill that. Or we can portal to Phyrexia. Whenever this, whenever we cast or this attacks. Um, if I portal, I can also make the Lord Urza. He can make my other stuff cheaper. Cost two less to cast. I could do that twice. I guess I should do that. That will make. I can at least cast the leveler, right? Because it will be four. Okay. So if I do it again, then this will cost five. So I can cast that. Um, but I think I can just do this. Excel permanent. I want 
Okay, nice. Alright, they're gonna get their vet Valorant fetch Valiant Venture, but that doesn't matter. And then we can portal to Phyrexia next turn. Ooh. Artifact instant sorcery cost two less. Do I care? I can do this and then untap. Here, I'll just tap this land and then. We got there. Strand Spider? I think the Strand Spider is good. It seemed good. Like, it blocked the Mono White very well and it ramped us, so. Yeah, so far, seems good. Alright, cool. On to the next game. Yep, this one we have our removal. We have Sten, Celestis, Karn. I think this looks pretty good. I guess. It probably doesn't matter. Alright, um, I'm gonna name... Maybe I'm gonna name Planeswalker. Mm, but I'm supposed to name Artifact. I'm gonna name Planeswalker. Because I'm going to try to get Karn down next turn. If they don't kill this. Hmm, interesting, interesting. So, I can kill this. Wait, it's that power song. It's an exile. It's not a. It's not a. Destroy. All right, and I guess we Karn here and draw one card. Then we can start making power stones to ramp us if we want to. Aragon. Uh, Alright, so the Seed of the Empire can deal with that when they attack. Yeah, we can play this and that's fine. Uh, so maybe I make a Power Stone. If they don't attack though, then not much I can do. And... Yeah, okay. They destroyed it. I guess the only good thing is they don't have the anything in the graveyard that they can play. Alright, they fell for it. Nice. That's good for us. And now we can start drawing with Karn. Alright, alright. Um I don't know how much I want to draw. So, okay. Let's add a blue. Let's tap. Let's see. This is going to cost four. So, one, two, three, four. So, I can do two more if I want to. Let's do four. Uh, 
Full of hearts. Oh shoot. <laughs> okay. I, for some reason I thought it was draw two, but it's draw one. Yeah, I'm dumb. Uh, well, that's fine. I think it's fine. Soul perdition is decent. Do they have removal for planeswalkers? No. So uh, I can untap and hold up soul perdition. Okay, and the next turn I can uh, I can use the fairy to dig. Oh no! All right. Okay, so yeah, they chose soul partition. Done, maybe we can kill this uh, three three. Well, two mana up. Yeah, I guess that's pretty good. I can plus the car, possibly. This is only for non-artifact spells. Alright. It has to be cast for artifacts or abilities, basically. Um, oh, so I, I can use this for the corn. So let's, we can do that. Grand Spider. That sounds good. Uh... I can hold up Soul Partition to save my Karn if they attack it. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I will do that. Because they're probably gonna try to kill the, the Karn. Why wouldn't you? This makes sense. Yep. So then I just save my corn. Uh, I guess we take this and drop the power stone engineer. Ezzeret, interesting, okay. I think I'm digging again with the Teferi. But then they can, well, I guess they can already kill it, so. Let's dig. Cityscape leveler, yeah, I think I want that. I can blow up their wedding announcement now. I only have two mana left after I do that though. But I suppose it's fine, and it has on Earth. Probably it's fairy's gonna die. Or cityscape's gonna die, I don't know. Yeah, okay. So they're willing to, of course, to trade the tokens for a Teferi. Makes sense. Makes sense. But can they deal with my leveler? The answer is no, they cannot. So I get to destroy something for free. So I guess I just killed the token. And they're gonna want to remember my leveler. I see.
Hmm. I'll probably save this for next turn to swing in. So for this turn. And Lotus plus Farm. I guess. Unless I want something that I can swing in. I think we just try to find our uh, Urza or something like that. Key. Sure, we can take an action. Okay, right, we don't need the land. Okay, they're gonna have a few blockers, it seems like. I guess maybe just one. If I have a removal, okay, no removal. A second, look. How deep do I want to look? Uh, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I think I'll go like four deep. Okay, soul partition is a removal, so I guess we can do that. And we take out the farmhand. And then we're gonna cast. Ah, I tapped all my artifacts. <laughs> ah, bummer. Okay. So I would have to make the timeless lotus into a thing. I guess I can do it, unfortunately. Watch them have another Wandering Emperor. Wait, does it untap? Is it artifact? To be cool? No. Okay, this was dumb. This was dumb, but okay. <laughs> Alright, they didn't have another one ramp for it, thankfully. Uh, I hope they can't kill it because I'll lose five mana. That's. It was pretty dumb. But... Okay, they can. Wow. Ugh, okay. That, that hurts a little, but alright, not enough to make us lose. So that's good. Alright, sweet. Uh, awesome. On to the next game. Uh, looks like we got our land and power stone into the might stone and car and stuff so i think it's capable uh i guess we don't really have a turn three play unless we draw something or let's yeah, no. Oh, okay. Saved by the Thran Spider. Nice. I just have to hope they're not, like, doing a ramp thing as well or something. I think we swing in and do some damage because they're they're probably not going to swing into our Thran Spider. Thief Keeper. Probably going to take our Might Stone. Yep, okay. But we can still Karn and draw a Karn. Which is pretty helpful. Okay. Nice, I'll take that. So now I want to start making some power stones. 
We're at five. We'll be at six mana with the power stun seven. We get the might. Oh, okay. I don't like that. Uh, I'm going to chump because they don't actually ramp me. I can soul partition. Ooh, I could also use this to depopulate. Nice. All right, so we'll depopulate. Um, oh, why is it tapping this way? So I guess this has to be white. Odorless. I guess it thinks I want to attack, but I don't want to attack. Oh, but... Okay, I just realized why I did it. Because I can't use this with the, the power stones. Ah, okay. Maybe it's just better to play the Might Stone? Alright, let's just play the Might Stone. And then we can Phyrexia next turn. Hopefully they don't have a way to remove Karn. It won't be the end of the world if they do, though. Alright. I suppose I could've... Maybe I should've just drawn with Karn, I don't know. We'll see. They don't have a way to remove it, it's not too bad. Ayo! Hmm. Do I need to soul partition that? If they sack it, they'll get some benefit. Any number of non permanents value four or less. Mm -hmm. I could get like a wandering emperor, which would not be cool. Alright, so if I do this, I cannot hold up the soul partition. So if I do this plus sweeper, I can't do both actually. So then I might as well draw one card with the Urza. Okay, leveler. So now I'm in the same boat, right? Phyrexia or leveler. Uh, I guess I do this. Karn's gonna die, but what? What can you do? I probably they whiffed. Maybe they whiffed. Awesome. Okay, that's sick, man. Nice. We got it. We got it. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's talk about this in the post game wrap up. See you in a bit. All right, everyone. Well, that is it for the games. And today we did well. We played three ranked games and we went three and oh. And uh, yeah, it was pretty good. We, we mostly faced aggro on the ladder, but right now best of one is mostly aggro. Uh, I think it was like 30% soldiers on, on the best one meta right now. So pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, the deck did well. We've got, you know, enough removal to deal with the aggro and then stall out the game until we can get to our big Cityscape leveler or Phyrexia or something like that, or get our Urza melded and uh, just take over the game. So it was very good. First game, we got that Urza going. That was sweet. Uh, Phyrexia, pretty much when it comes down, wins you the game and everything else played out quite well. Uh, Karn is also, also much better than I expected, to be honest. Getting those power stones or the draw, I think most of the time I drew two or three cards from Karn. Uh, so that's that's very good. Um, better than you would think, just reading the uh, effects of Karn. So yeah, Karn's very good. Maybe? I guess Tezzeret played a part in that game as well. Uh, 
But I don't know. Karn was really good, so we might have to think about if we want to switch up some of the Planeswalkers. Uh, for, like the numbers of the Planeswalkers. Mm -hmm. Other than that, um, I added the dep Depopulates to help with the aggro. And it did seem like it was helpful, so I, I think maybe two is the right number there. We also have Thrun Spider and stuff to act as like a nice blocker. And a few early game removals with Laydown Arms and Soul Partition and stuff. So, felt pretty good. Sten, maybe, maybe Sten is the weakest card. I really want to make Sten work, but I don't know. Um, I, I think if you can get him on two and you have like a a Karn to play on three or one of the Planeswalkers or something might be worth. But other than that scenario, Sten has been a little bit lackluster, unfortunately. All right, but that's it. Yeah, the deck did well and definitely seems good for ranking. Um, you know, as you get higher on the ladder, you might have to make a few tweaks, but uh, yeah, seems, seems good. Seems like it will, you know, pretty easily get you some nice wins, get you to rank up and... More than that, it's always fun to get the combo going and get your Urza melded. So uh, go out there, have some fun, and until next time, see ya.